probably around the age of 14 i started doing like small canvases of things that my family would want done so that's where i started that and then i started expanding a little bit well as much as i could for being you know like a freshman in high school i started selling pieces to my parents friends and their friends and just the, it started becoming a, a thing around O'Connell Falls and now everyone in O'Connell Falls knows who I am. So with Skids Craven, I DM'd him. I was like, hey, I really like your music. Like, how'd you get into that? And um, could I do like an art piece of you? He replied relatively quick too. It was probably a week later. So I started freaking out and I got to work immediately. I decided to do like a, like a monochromatic piece of him kind of with my own style incorporated in there and he ended up loving it so much to the fact that because he's from wisconsin so he was like hey do you want to meet up like he messaged me i think the day before new year's eve so i was like yes when i got finished with it and wanted to you know pack everything up and, and go um the parents let me take their suv he's definitely one of the nicest guys i've ever met so my buddy Dustin, um, Green Floor Studios, as he calls himself, uh, he's a musician, and um, him and I recently became friends within the last couple of years, and he goes to the farmer's market every year with his guitar and his guitar case, and he just stands there. So he was like, hey, bring your easel out and bring your, like the, the newest painting that you're working on. So I was working on a five and a half foot tall piece of Post Malone. I went there for four weeks. Um, so it was every Wednesday. The last Wednesday that I went, I didn't want to go because the weather was going to be poo. And I was just in a bad mood that day for some reason. But I'm glad I went because if I didn't, um, I wouldn't have been able to meet the guys from Club 920, um, which walked up to me as I was packing up at the end of the day. And they were like, did you do this? And I was like, yeah, like, why do you want to buy it? And they're like, no, no, we want you to do work for us. And uh, I was excited because that was my first big gig that somebody wanted me to do. And so we sat there talking for hours, well, probably hour and a half, almost two hours about like what they want done, like what the floor plans were. Um, Cause they were starting a nightclub in Green Bay. It was the first ever nightclub. I mean, not first ever, but probably the first real nightclub for younger people in Green Bay. Here we are almost two years later. My artwork is still hung up in Club 920. It was pretty easy to get my name out there for like other businesses because I put my Instagram tag and my my uh, my name underneath on like a plaque so they could find a way to contact me easily because I'm always on social media. Um, so these two guys from Chicago went into the nightclub and saw the artwork and they're like, okay, well, we're starting a shoe store. We got to talking and the nicest guys ever. It was, it's literally their dream to own a shoe store with like high-end shoes and stuff like that. And they were selling like Yeezys, Nikes, Adidas, like everything. Um, even from like shoes to clothing and like really crazy stuff. So I went in there and we got to talking, did a whole like floor plan. And it was a, basically a build from the bottom and to like what it is now. There's this thing in my town called Main Street Revival that um, one of the city, not necessarily city workers uh, put together, but it, because it's a smaller town, so everyone knows everyone. Um, and said person uh, has been a family friend for years. So she knew I was really big into art since I was super little. So she thought about where my artwork was now. So she looked up my Facebook and she saw all the artwork that I did on there. Um, and that wasn't even the most of it because I post most of my stuff on Instagram. So she messaged my parents and she was like, hey, what's your, what does your son do? And you know, my parents got, got it in for me and I, met, <clears throat> I eventually met up with her and we discussed how they want to bring Main Street back to life by bringing, making it more vibrant and everything. So we came up with the plan to do um, a more vibrant picture of the dam that we have in O'Connell Falls. Um, so that's what I did with a mixture of spray paint, uh, outdoor paint, acrylic. But yeah, so that it's it, I I got lucky with it, I guess. Um, 
because there's a few other artists in town, but you know, I got the whack of the draw, and I'm not bragging, but you know, it, it's it was an honor, really. If you have a passion that you're really into, like you, you probably hear it all the time, like uh, like musicians say it, and like actors say it, it's like, oh, if you have a dream, pursue it, and they're they're right. If you love something, go after it, because if you don't, you're just gonna sit there and do nothing, and you're gonna regret not doing it. So, I mean, if you love what you do, push yourself every day. That's what I would say.